I am Anil Kumar and here is another question to review the basic concepts of vectors. A particle moves along the path r equals to 2 comma 1 plus t times minus 1 3 where t is greater than or equal to 0 t in seconds distance units are centimeters. Now we need to solve these two questions based on the given information. Determine the coordinates of the particle at t equals to 0, 1, 2, and 3. Part B is how far is the particle from origin after 3 seconds. So there are many ways to do it. However, I find a very effective way of making a table and then answering such questions. So we'll begin with writing the, the equation of the movement of particle, which is vector r equals to 2 minus 1, that's kind of initial point, plus t minus 1, 3, we are given t is greater than or equal to 0. I said initial point because if I write t equals to 0, this term will be 0, we are left with 2, 1. So it is the initial point normally when we are considering motion of a particle in space. Now. Determine coordinates of the particle at t equals to 0, 1, 2, and 3. So what we can also do is we can write this equation in terms of x and y coordinates, right? So from here we can write that the x coordinate is 2 minus t and y coordinate is 1 plus 3t, right? 1 plus 3t. Now to write down positions for different values of t, we can actually make a table. So, so let's make a table where we can have t values in one column and then we can calculate x and y values, right? So we'll calculate x and y values, okay? We'll calculate x and y values using these equations and then we can write down the coordinate points here. So we'll say, well, x is equals to 2 minus t y is equals to 1 plus 3t and that is the coordinate point x y for us correct okay so let's fill in this table we want to write for t equals to 0 1 2 and 3 right so if i write t equals to 0 i get x equals to 2 minus 0 which is 2 y will be equals to 1 plus 0 which is 1 and the coordinate will be to 1, right? So that is the initial coordinate. If I write 1, I get 2 minus 1, which is 1, and here I get 1 plus 3, which is 4, and therefore what we get here is 1, 4. As you can see, minus 1, 3. So this value decreases by 1, and that increases by 3. So that is how we get our values. Now let's put t as 2. So we get 2 minus 2 equals to 0 and we get 1 plus 6 equals to 7 and the values are 0 and 7. For 3 it will be 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 and 1 plus 3 times 3 is 9 we get 10 and so we get minus 1 10. Now you can observe here that as we go a step ahead with t, the coordinate values change by minus 1, 3. That's what we see. And this, this is a constant slope, right? So that is a constant slope. So that is the direction in which the particle is moving, correct? Okay? So these are the coordinate values. So we've done the part A, let us say this is A for us. So that is how. So that becomes actually a good way of representing the information and answering in the minimum space. Now let's look into part B, right? So let's say B. How far is the particle from origin after 3 seconds? So that is when t is 3, right? So we are talking about origin, let's say, let's say O, which is 0, 0. And let's say this is the point P, which after 3 seconds, the point is minus 1, 10. So how far away? Basically we need to find distance between this, right? So we need to find distance. 
PO, right? So that distance we need to find. That means the magnitude of this distance. That is what we need to find, right? So that we can find as square root of, we'll apply the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, correct? So in this case, it is minus 1 square root of minus 1 minus 0 whole square plus 10 minus 0 whole square and that is square root of 1 plus 100 so that is square root of 101 so that is what you get you could always write this answer in decimals so we can say square root of 101 which is equal to in decimals around 10 0 0.05 right rounding to two decimal places and since we know the distance is in centimeters we'll write centimeters here right so the answer is 10.05 centimeters right so that is how you can actually solve this question i hope you understand how to relate the vector equation of the particle with the coordinate points and find the distance as we did in this particular exercise. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.